because spring is finally rolling around and finally clearing off some of this snow, just a little bit of this snow, I decided it's time to roll around with to another review. Now I haven't been doing as many reviews here of late, unfortunately, but I wanted to kind of break that curve and uh, actually do some reviews for y'all. So the first review I'm gonna be doing, kind of starting off this spring, is the Benchmade Bug Out. And this is a nice little knife. And before we get into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to see more awesome Alaskan EDC and bushcraft awesomeness like this. What I think about this knife. So I'm gonna be actually mixing up this review and it's gonna be a little bit different from a normal review and or a normal kind of EDC or bushcrafting review. And that is because I feel the bug out makes a superb bushcraft and EDC folding knife. So I'm gonna be doing part of the roll-in test footage of kind of just EDC processing a cardboard box and also doing some more bushcrafty tasks like carving notches. And I'm also gonna be explaining how I use this knife on an everyday level because I use it in two capacities. So now let's jump into this review. <clears throat> so a lot of people bought this knife uh, way back last fall, well not so much way back, but back last fall um, with the intentions of getting a really nice super lightweight EDC knife and that is certainly what the bug out has been. It's a very slim, very lightweight, but yet in its overall size still a very comfortable and reasonably large knife for a folding knife in fairness and uh, it's been a really, it's, I think it's been a really kind of catching fire and, uh, really nice knife that a lot of people have enjoyed. Of course, this does rock the S30V steel, which is not the highest end steel. A lot of companies are using CPM S35VN, but overall the S30V is just fine. I mean, really, it's kind of like slicing hairs when you get to S30V and S35VN, but uh, this is a very nice steel, and it's a really great steel for both of the applications this knife is intended for. That is, of course, everyday carry and um, and just the outdoors so it's a really nice deal for both of those now like i said i'm going to be talking about a little bit of the two primary applications i use this knife for and the first of that is of course just having as a pocket knife for everyday carry uh, the blade shape lends itself well to opening boxes and cutting cardboard paper opening packages of different materials sizes and shapes it does just fine at that um, personally i might find it just a little bit on the large side but it is it works really well and especially for the weight one of my favorite things about this knife is the fact that it feels like a feather in your pocket it feels really lightweight and it's actually one of those knives that you barely notice when you carry i think this would definitely if this knife ever rolls into the hands of nothing fancy i think he would definitely love the bug out because uh it's just such a lightweight knife now for me personally i'm not always uh, really that careful or caring about having the lightest weight uh, knives in my pocket but if you are one of those types of people that wants a you know average sized knife but not for the average sized weight this would definitely be a considerable option especially being that it has the really tough access lock incorporated into it and actually this is not the standard pocket clip it comes with a deep carry pocket clip I just have that deep carry pocket clip on another knife that I think suits it just a little bit better than this one Anyways, so that's the first capacity now. In fairness, I will be honest, I don't use this knife a whole lot in that capacity because I kind of find this knife to be uh, better suited for another task. And there's a reason why for some of you guys that strictly out or view my outdoor gear will be familiar. Or if you guys view my outdoor gear, you guys will be familiar with this little guy. And this is my personal survival kit that I carry whenever I go out and about into the woods, whenever I'm venturing and I think I need just to have a lightweight kind of kit if especially I'm not carrying a backpack but I still want the ability to have some survival equipment on me some water purification tablets shelter you know kind of like the five C's of survivability this is my PSK and I carry it for that reason now I do have a video strictly devoted to the PSK itself but <clears throat> but this is a knife that tends to live in the PSK. And the primary reason why I like this knife so much, and I think the reason why this was called kind of the bug out, the 535 bug out, is because it makes a really great little outdoors knife. It's such a nice, um, lightweight, and reasonably sized knife. And it, 
in the that's kind of what I like about it that it's so lightweight that I can put it in something like my personal survival kit and not really feel that it's there I believe this knife is only around two ounces so I can put it in an already pretty heavy kit like this and it basically disappears but at the same time I know without a doubt that I have a very sharp s30v blade with a good sized handle a good lock on it and I know that I can use this for a lot of different wilderness tasks in case I'm ever launched into the necessity of necessity of actually needing any of the equipment in here especially the knife and this would be an excellent knife for dressing game animals that I catch or just processing uh, wood make different uh, tinders or stuff like that uh, it'd be a really excellently suited knife to that uh, kind of life and so honestly where this spends most of its time is in the PSK or on me for a lightweight kind of outdoor setup and I think that this knife uh, not only does it lend itself really well to doing stuff uh, like I said EAC tasks but it also lends itself very well to doing outdoors tasks with the size and general shape it's a very comfortable handle there's no really noticeable hot spots the jimping is not that coarse uh, overall this knife fits excellently into either an EDC or an outdoors kind of bushcrafting um, role so anyways uh, overall this knife I think was a slam hit by Benchmade I think making a really lightweight knife like this but having a decent size like this is you know it's a pretty good size I can wrap my hand around it and I have medium sized hands but I can wrap my hand around it and it still has a little bit of extra room on both sides I'm not crowding this handle out it feels good it feels comfortable I will say something that just as I noticed in the EDC community if you do intend on EDCing this knife every day you may look at putting some different scales on this knife I know there are different aftermarket scales that are a bit thicker because I'd say about my only complaint with this knife getting two complaints is that the thickness of this knife for an everyday carry now I will say I like how thin this knife is for putting it into a pack like this especially a pack like this I love having a really thin profile but uh, if you EDC this knife it's nice to have a little bit of extra meat to grab onto with the knife so to speak uh, and it just kind of makes the traction a little bit more positive so they do sell aftermarket at least i know carbon fiber uh, handles or grips for the bug out and i would definitely recommend taking a look at those because i think you'd be more happy with those in an EDC format unless you really want this lightweight very slim carry also lastly as far as the styling goes I really like it they did some blue anodized aluminum thumb studs and uh, backspacer only put oh no two backspacers okay two anodized blue backspacers and two anodized blue thumb studs very pretty knife uh, to go along with the blue handle it just looks like a very gorgeous knife that was something that when I initially picked it up out of the box I was like man this is a, a very pretty knife on top of it being very functional and very usable it's also a really pretty knife and I like that blue that blue is is kind of uh, untraditional for Benchmade to use blue but this type of blue it's kind of a deep blue not like the cyan of my mini grip this is kind of like a, a deeper blue so it's not really a super eye-catching popping kind of color but yet it's different it's enough to kind of spice it up <laughs> so anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out